Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you, how can you make the eye blinking effect in Premiere Pro. So first I'm going to make this effect on a static video, then I'll add the camera motion on it. And next I will do this effect in a movement video. Inside Premiere Pro, here I have already added a static video footage. First let's see how to make the eye blinking effect in the static video, also I'll make the same effect on the movement footage. So keep watching till the end. First we need to remove the lines from the eyes. So click on this little camera icon to take a snapshot. Browse the location where you want to export the snapshot, and select the format as PNG. Enable import into project, and then click on OK. You can see the snapshot has been created in the project panel. So add this snapshot above on your clip. Adjust the image layer with your footage duration. Now we are going to use Photoshop generative fill to remove the lines. So select the snapshot layer, and right click on your mouse, then click on edit in Photoshop. So it will open your image in Photoshop. In this case, I am using Photoshop beta to remove the lines easily. Now take the selection tool and select the line. Then click on generative fill and it will automatically remove the lines. You can see, it works perfectly. Now let's remove the other's line in this way. I've already made a detailed video, how can you transform a video by using the generative fill? You can check it out under the description link. Now we have done. You can see the lines are perfectly removed. Now going back to the Premiere Pro. As you can see, there are no lines in eye areas. But the snapshot is a still frame. So we are not getting the video preview. We need to create a mask on the eyes area. So click on the snapshot layer. Then go to the effect controls tab. Under the opacity effect, click on the pen tool. Now draw a mask around the eyes area. Increase the mask feather a little bit. Now you can see, the still frame is only working on the mask part, and the video is previewing perfectly. Usually eye blinking takes half a second. So you need to check your video FPS, to add this effect in the correct duration. Go to the sequence, and click on sequence settings. Here you can see my video is 24 frames per second. So half a second will take 12 frames. And we need to create this effect in 12 frames. So again open this snapshot to the Photoshop application. Now we're going to close the eyes at 6 frames, then we'll reverse them in Premiere Pro to open the eyes. So go to the filter, then click on liquify effect, now select the pucker tool from here, and close the eyes a little bit. And remember, we need to close the eyes in 6 frames. And each frame we are going to export as an image. I think it's okay for the first frame. Now just export it by clicking on, Alt plus Shift plus Ctrl plus W. Select the format as JPG. And then click on Export. Here I am creating a folder for eye closing frames. This image will be the first frame so I am renaming it to number 1. Now again go to liquify, and close the eyes a little bit. It will be the second frame. I think it's done for the second frame. Again export this image by clicking on, Alt plus Shift plus Ctrl plus W and save it to the closing eyes folder. Let's rename it to number 2, as a second frame. Now continue this process to the 6 frames. And at the last frame, the eyes should be closed. As you can see, the eyes are finally closed in the last frame. Again I am going to export it to the same folder. Now let's move to the Premiere Pro. Here we need to import the images. So go to the project window. Double click here to import the images. Open the folder where you save them. Select the first image and enable the image sequence, so it will import all of the images as a video clip. Then just click on open. Now add the imported clip above on your clip. As you can see, the eyes are closing perfectly, but the other objects of the clips are still an image. So we need to create a mask here. Now select the clip, and go to the effect controls tab. Take the pen tool, and create a mask around the eyes. Increase the mask feather a little bit. As you can see, the eye closing part is ready, now we need to create the opening part. And we can do it easily by reversing this clip. So just duplicate this clip by pressing on the Alt button. Select the second clip, and right click on your mouse. Then click on speed and duration. 
Just enable the reverse speed. Click on OK. Now let's see the final preview. You can see the eyes are blinking perfectly. Now just nest these two clips. And you can just duplicate this nested sequence to repeat this effect. We have done it for the static video. Now I'm going to add the camera shake effect on this video. And you can check out my real camera shake presets pack under the description link. So first select all of the layers in your timeline, right click on your mouse, and nest them all. Then go to the effects tab, first we have to import the presets pack. So right click on your mouse to the presets, then click on import presets. Select the presets pack, and click on open. Now expand the presets. Inside this presets pack, you will get 10 amazing real camera shake presets. And these presets are very easy to use. You just need to drag and drop a preset on your static video. And there we go. We can see that this footage looks like real camera motion. Now let's add the same effect on a movement footage. Here I have added movement video footage. And I am going to add the eye blink effect on the Spider-Man eyes. In the static video, we were able to create this effect by taking a single snapshot. But in this case we are not able to create the effect with a single snapshot, because of the movement. So we need to take 12 snapshots frame by frame, to create the eye blink effect in the movement footage. So move the time indicator, where you want to start the eye blink effect. Now add a marker here by clicking on the M button. In my case, I am taking 10 frames for this effect, so move 10 frames forward by clicking the right arrow key on your keyboard. And again add a marker here. Now we have to export each frame by taking a snapshot. Here we can use the camera icon to take a snapshot of each frame, and it'll take a long time. But there is an easy way to do this. So add in and out points on your marker points. Then go to export. Set the location where you want to export the snapshots. Create a new folder. Then just click on save. Select the format as PNG. Now just click on export. Let's check the location. As you can see, we have our 10 snapshots frame by frame. Now move to the Photoshop application. And open all of the snapshots here. Move to the first image. For my clip I'm going to add fill color to close the eyes in the first 5 snapshots. And the last 5 frames will be for the opening part. It will be the first frame. So take the pen tool and draw a small eye shape over the eye. Draw another shape like this to the left eye. And click Ctrl plus Enter to select this area. Now we need to fill the selected area. So click on the foreground color and pick a dark color from here. Now open fill options by clicking shift plus backspace, then select the content as foreground color, click on OK. You can see, the fill color is added to the selected area. Now click on alt plus shift plus control plus W to export this snapshot. Create a new folder. And click on save. Now move to the second snapshot. It will be the second frame, so we are going to create the same shape, but this time the shape size will be a little bit bigger than the first frame. Click Ctrl plus Enter to select these area. Again add the fill color here. Then export it on the same location. Continue this process till the last frame. I am speeding up this part, so that you don't have to wait. We need to close the eyes in the 5th snapshot, and the opening part will be start from the 6th snapshot. We have done. Now let's back to the Premiere Pro. Double click on the project window to export the images. Select the first image, and enable the image sequence, it will import all of the images as a video clip. Click on open. Now add this clip above your marker on the timeline. Let's see the preview. As you can see the effects working perfectly, let's zoom the screen for a better preview. It looks perfect for me. So that's all for today, if you really enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will see you in the next one, have a nice day.